Hey, it's Randy from Florida Fun and More, and as you can see, Sandy, Sandy just had ACDF surgery, and I just wanted to document this so you, if you have this coming up, or you just had it and you want to know what it's like, she just had it four days ago. Sandy, tell us about it. Well, it was, you know, I mean, it relieved the pain that I was having. So that was the main goal. And um, I do still have a little pain in my shoulder and my arm. That was from the nerve that was being pinched. And they said that that will most likely return to normal. It's going to take time, though. But your arm, your arm doesn't work really at all except a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I can lift it. I can still move my fingers. You can't put your arm stuff. out up like no, this. I can't she can't do, do that. This. Yeah. So she still does have some mobility issues with her arm. So just yeah. want to make sure. So if you have that um or you had that if you had that same issue she has right now, please let us know uh what your experience with it. You know, how long did it take you to get your arm back all that stuff cuz that's our main concern is worrying about her arm coming back. Yeah, that's that's a little nerve-wracking. Um, it's a little hard to sleep. I would say that was probably the worst uh, worst part of it, is trying to get comfortable, and you're never really comfortable. You gotta sleep, or I have to sleep in this. I have to wear this for about four weeks, um, based on, you know, what the doc says. So, but in my my rear end feels like I have been to the movies for five hours sitting on a bleacher. So that's hard to get comfortable. Now that I'm laying in the bed, the first couple of days I used the recliner um, and a bunch of pillows. Um, now I'm in the bed, so that's much better. That relieves the pressure off the bottom. So but that you're not helps. laying completely flat, just no. to make it clear that she isn't laying flat in the bed. She has a billion a pillows, pillows up having her propped up so she is still sitting at an upright position. So finally, Randy let me go upstairs where we have a bed that has the adjustable base. So that helps a lot. That was good too. She has called me Nurse <laughs> Ratchet through this whole thing. Well, I think he would put me in bubble wrap if he could. I would. And if you know me, which you probably don't, but if you do, I'm kind of independent. And... So it has been very hard for me to give up some of my independence. But anyway, um, I'm eating regular food now. Well, tonight I had my first like meat. I had chicken. So, and uh, I just have to, small bites, chew a lot. My throat the first couple of days was really not sore like you're sick and have a sore throat, more sore like somebody punched you in the throat and it's bruised. That's kind of what it feels like. But, you know, for the most part, I'm hanging in there, taking it day by day. I'll show you my uh You're going to show the scar. incision? Wow. Yeah. So that's the incision. It's uh looking pretty good. Um, Don't really have to do much to it. Just when a shower, just let the water kind of run over it and no scrubbing or anything like that. Just put that back on there, though. So... See what I mean? Little annoyings. But anyway. So, that's the hard part, just getting this comfortable enough. You know, it is kind of adjustable, and you can kind of, you know, make it tighter or looser. You don't want it too tight, because it'll cut off your, you know, jugular. But, um, and this kind of is adjustable, so it's not pressing really hard on you. And I tend to do this a lot to just kind of relieve and you have gone out and done stuff. Um, a couple days ago, we went actually, and she went to Ross's and bought some shirts because. Really need button down shirts because I really can't put my hands over my head to put on a, a t shirt or anything like that and realize I don't have a lot of button down shirts. So most of them are just fake buttons. But uh, we had some friends from Jacksonville that came up and got us both out of the house and kind of distracted his mind for a little bit instead of like, I'll say, hey, give me this. He jumps up and runs and goes and gets it. I'm like, oh my God. But anyway, I'd rather have that than someone who didn't care at all. So I'm yeah. not saying anything bad. 
You just need them to calm down a little bit. Just <laughs> a little bit. So, so you're recommending if, if you have the surgery, make sure you have lots of button down shirts for one. Yeah, that's been for me. And since I can't use my left arm, I'm wearing very stretchy pants that are easy to get on and off. Um, Cause that's been hard cause I haven't been able to use this arm. So you have to be able to do everything. Thank goodness it's right, I'm right handed. So that's a blessing right there, so. But you know, it relieved the pain that I was in. My shoulders are still tight. You do have that. Um, I've been alternating between ice and heat to kind of relax that a little bit. And they said that's normal. So, so far everything's normal. So would you do this again? Oh yeah, because I was in severe pain. Okay. So, so if you're going in for ACDF surgery, which is a fusion surgery, um, like she is, she recommends it. And I got three screws in my neck, so yeah, that's pretty wild to think about. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought I had it bad with my monitor, or my my chest going through the, the airport security. Now I have to worry about her. Going no, through it. Mine are titanium. So. Oh, see? Titanium. So they won't set off any uh, detectors. So, okay. So that's good. That's good. All right. Hey, if you like this uh, video and this did help you uh, get along with your your questions and all that good stuff, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. And or if you have any other tips and suggestions, if you've already been through it, and, you know, hey, I'm up for anything. Yeah, she is, and help us out. Okay, guys, until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Bye.